This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Yo, what's up guys? Let's uh, clean house real quick. I safety checked the gun three times, and I want to show you that there is zero ammo in the magazine, and there is none in the chamber. There is no ammunition inside the gun, and we are safe and good to go. Here's what I built. This is my first uh, rifle, gun ever, rifle or gun, pistol, whatever. And I built it all myself. I built it by, basically I learned on the internet and ordered all the parts on the internet and step by step and here's what I ended up with. Let me show you what I got here. AR-15 of course and it's a zombie spikes tactical lower and it's a Bravo company upper and then with various other components on it. Uh, I did the rifle in OD green which is the Magpul parts. I'll go off, um, I'll list them all right now. Magpul. CTR stock, Myad grip, uh, 30 round PMAG, uh, XTM rail panels, AFG1 grip, and then a uh, badass lever. Also, I got the Magpul um, MS3 sling, I think it is. It goes from a single point to a dual point. Um, I think it's going to be a great sling. And uh, OD green was the color that I used on most of the parts, but I tried to break it up. Oh, forgot about this guy. I got the Magpul trigger guard in flat dark earth, and then some of the XTM panels are black and flat dark earth because I wanted to break up the colors a little bit. I built the gun the way I wanted to, and I one of the things that I wanted to do was make it old school. I wanted to master the iron sights before I got into op optics. So when I did that, I got the Palmetto State Armory carry handle, rear iron sight, and then my barrel came with the, the forward iron sight. I also got the Bravo Company Manufacturing Gunfighter Charger Handle, well, hold on. Which, um, which works really cool. It's the large lever latch, and it worked out really good with, um, you see right here, the mounts for the iron sight. And then when you pull it back, it clears perfectly. So if I would have got the smaller one or medium one, it wouldn't have worked as well. So we're really happy with how that came out. The bolt is a Bravo Company bolt, M16. And I also got the uh, ejection door cover in the Gaddiston flag. Which, for those of you who don't know, it's the Don't Tread on Me flag from early American history during the Revolutionary Times. Now, if any of you guys uh, have a laser etcher or know how to get a Ron Paul Revolution ejection port cover, hit me up. I'll be your first customer. That'd be rad. This gun is um, <clears throat> it's built in California, so there's a couple of things I don't like about the gun. But to make it lawful, I had to do, which is a bullet button. You have to use a bullet or a tool to release the mag. And then these 30-round mags. They're only a 30 round body. It only holds 10 rounds in the internals, which kind of sucks. Okay. Which totally sucks, but I had to build it legal so I didn't get in trouble. You know what I mean? So I also got some ammunition, some different kinds. I don't know if you guys are familiar with all the ammo, but that's probably the most sought after ammo right there is the, um, the NATO uh, 556 green tip steel penetrator bullets. It's the same exact thing that uh, our troops use. And if you see, I got an ammo can right here. Same ammo. These green tips. There they are. Are on stripper clips, so they're really easy to load in the mags. Which kind of works out cool because, you know, I get one clip per my, per my you know, low capacity mag. Kind of fits perfect. That's, I uh, try to see the bright, bright side of things. But yeah, I have a whole can of those. And back over here, there's, um, I got some 223s for plinking ammo. I got a box of these Zombie Max, which is totally expensive. It's almost double the price of regular ammo. I mean, it's, it's really novelty. I mean, I would not buy this stuff in bulk. Just buy one if you want to, just to mess around or I don't know. I'm not buying another box, but I'm glad I have just one. That's cool. This PMC ammo I have uh, in two grains. Uh, 50, 50, uh, 
55 grain and 62. The 62s are actually, these ones right here, are actually almost, a, they're, they're a direct copy of the 5.56 five, NATO rounds. And they were really inexpensive. Let's show you guys right here. See that? Really nice, clean ammo. And um, I got it from Palmetto State Armory, both of the 55 and the 62. The 62 is the only one with the green tips on them. For like 7 or $8 a box, the only bad thing that sucks is they're not made in America. So I'm glad I have it, but I don't... I don't know, I'm going to have to figure that out if I want to do all American stuff or or make an exception for the ammo. But as far as the gun goes, yeah, it's 100% made in America. I also got these uh, zombie ammo cans. They're really cool. They're actually really big. Look how large they are compared to the, you know, the skinny uh, 5.56 five, rounds. And they seal up real nice. I got those from Cheaper Than Dirt for like... Well, cheaper than dirt, like 10 bucks a piece, and I really cool. enjoy having them. It fits the theme of the gun, and the, you know, if you guys are into the zombie apocalypse, which is pretty fun. I also got these stickers, which I thought were really cool. I'll put a link to them where I got them on eBay. You, know, you can put them on your ammo cans, or they come in different colors. You can put them wherever you want, your car, wherever you want. And then I also got a carry bag, which is really cool. They come in different colors. It's 36 inches long. Holds the rifle in there nicely. Big strap to hold it. And these um, magazine pouches are actually really cool. They unstrap and you can put them on your belt. Uh, I got this bag from CheaperThanDirt.com. And it it was um, like $55 or something. That was real inexpensive. I thought it was a really good quality as well. But yeah, the websites that I used were Cheaper Than Dirt. Palmetto State Armory. It's where I got a lot of the ammunition from. And I'll put the link to everything below so you guys could check it out. And I hope you liked my video. And I'll update you when I finally get my weapons light, which I've been not waiting on money, but been waiting on the parts to come in. All these all these parts are on back order. I don't know if you guys are trying to build these lately. But this uh, lower receiver that I have is actually on an 8 to 12 month back order from Spikes Tactical's website. These parts are getting harder to find. But I'm lucky I got mine and I'll update you when I get, when I get my weapons light. And I've also been looking into a handgun. And I'm pretty stoked to show you guys what I decided on getting. But give me, give me some time to do that video. Alright guys, well... Hope you like checking everything out. Hope you like my build. And I'll talk to you guys later. Late.